Hey there guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different, so let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. This is just gonna be an intro. Uh, anyway, I wanna talk about a phone that costs less than a nice dinner out, and that is the TCL A1. So this is the refurbished TCL A1 that I just recently did an unboxing for, and you can catch that video up here. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So what we have here, this is the TCL A1, and this is the refurbished version that I purchased off of eBay for $14.99, and this is the track phone variant. Uh, this does come on different carriers, and these are all track phone carriers. So it comes on track phone, comes on Net10, Simple Mobile, and Walmart Family Mobile for varying prices, but it looks like for new, it's $24.99 and $29.99, depending on the carrier that you choose. So what do you get for that? You get a pretty decent looking little smartphone here. It's a five inch display, uh, 18, by nine as 18 by nine aspect ratio. So it, it is an interesting aspect ratio, but it feels nice in the hand here. Not a bad size. Uh, it is small by today's standards though. Uh, the resolution is 960 by 480. So you have a 480p display, not the greatest there. It is not an IPS panel. It is not a laminated panel. And you can definitely tell by that, by just looking here. So, uh, those viewing angles are going to be really, really bad. The color reproduction is not going to be very good. And as I said, it is not an IPS panel, so it's going to have a panel gap. And uh, you'll definitely notice it. So if you were wondering how the screen looks under sunlight, well, here it is off. And here it is on. And you can only vaguely see those icons. And you might be able to see my reflection here, but that's about the best you're going to get. Here is full brightness so you might be able to see a little bit of it head on but not too much um, it's just not a great just not a great LCD panel one thing I thought that was kind of interesting was when I purchased the phone I don't know if you can see this but there is a screen protector that they applied on here so I'm not sure if that is true for all refurbished phones that they have but uh, I did also purchase an Amazon renewed Moto G6 that's also for track phone which appeared to use the same refurbisher that this phone did, and that one did not have a screen protector, so it could just be the, the one that I got here. For storage, this comes with 16 gigs on board. You can expand that up to 32 gigs with a micro SD card. Out of that 16 gigs, uh, you get about nine out of the box, so not too bad, but not great either. Um, and it does have uh, Android 8.1 out of the box here. Um, there are no updates for it, I did check to make sure. Um, it does have a 1.1 gigahertz quad core processor, and that's a MediaTek processor. And so here's our model. So it is the A501DL, TCL, and for some reason it says the screen size is 4.47 inches, but this is a five inch display, 239 uh, DPI, and then there's your internal storage there, 9.14. Now I have a lower amount of storage because I have downloaded apps for this. But here you go, it is a quad core processor, it says ARM Cortex A53. It does have two gigs of RAM, so not a lot by today's standards, but not too bad for the price. It also has a two megapixel front camera. It says on the website that it does a front camera flash. Um, it does have a rear camera with flash that is five megapixels. So this does have a removable battery and it is 2200 milliamp hours and I'll show you that here. So typical capacity, 2200 milliamp hours, rated capacity, 2110. So that's kind of interesting here. Uh, here is where your SIM card would go and your micro SD card there. And our back panel just clicks right into place here. So this didn't come with a whole lot of bloatware out of the box. Um, some of the apps that it did come with, uh, it did come with Facebook. And unfortunately, when you try to go to the app information here, it only gives you the ability to disable the app. So you cannot uninstall that. So if you don't have Facebook, you have to kind of be stuck with it. You have a My Account Downloader, My Sites, all the Google apps and uh, the other ones that it does download on here, you can delete. So I have taken a couple photographs with this phone and not a lot of them uh, were bad. And I'll definitely post these on um, up here so you can see them in their full glory. They're not too bad, but they're not great. And uh, the screen on this does not help when you're viewing them. video on the TCL A1.
Unfortunately, Geekbench 5 does not work on this phone, but Geekbench 4 does. And here is our score. So we have a 530 single core score and a multi-core score of 1453. It was pretty sluggish. And I also did an Antutu benchmark, and there's your score there. And it says that it defeated 1% of users. And I will show you a little clip of how bad it was when it was trying to actually pull the benchmark. It looked like it was just looking at a picture rather than actually looking at a video instead. So it was kind of bad. Another thing that may be a little bit disappointing is the speed. So it's not gonna have the fastest LTE connection or the fastest Wi-Fi connection. Uh, I believe it only has 802.11n. Uh, and uh, so I have 200 megabits per second on my, my home Wi-Fi here. And here is the speed that we get. As far as uh, basic internet browsing, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, things load up pretty quickly as long as you don't have too many apps up here and uh, You can you know, you can go to different websites and it doesn't have any loading blocks or any digital artifacts or anything like that uh, Seems to have no real issue here So the verge is a pretty graphically intense website. So take a look at that. I'll show you uh, you can see the loading times aren't too bad and It loads up things pretty quickly. However, we're just missing the photos and let's see, let's try to click on the link here. So it's not too bad as far as browsing is concerned. Um, just gonna be a little slower than what you may be used to, but for a very cheap phone, I'm pretty impressed. Now one kind of good thing here uh, that Android offers is uh, you can have dual apps open. So you may not want to because it's going to be a little bit slow, but you can just hold on to one here and then drag it up here and then just select your second one. Oop, as you can see, it kind of glitched out a little bit there, but it's acceptable, but definitely not meant for multitasking. So as far as YouTube is concerned, uh, it's going to run just fine. Uh, the screen is going to be uh, the limiting factor here. And speaker is rear facing, unfortunately. So I'll give you a little bit of a preview of that. Now, one other downside I noticed with this screen is when looking at social media. So as I showed you before, the viewing angles are pretty bad. Um, however, when you go into Twitter here, I did have it on the light mode and it actually looked better on light mode. So I do have it on dark mode here. And as you can see, when trying to read on here, it's kind of hard to read unless you're looking directly at it. However, when you're scrolling through, once it catches up with everything, it seems to be okay. And if you go pretty quickly, you can see the limits of the phone. It can't really handle too, too much, but it'll eventually catch up with itself. And uh, like I said, just look at it directly and you'll be okay. Now, if you run basic games on it, it shouldn't have too much of an issue. Um, and I'll just show you Temple Run should run pretty well on here. As that runs pretty well on older phones, you can see the little glitching here. You can see it's not really handling it too well, and it didn't get my swipe. Let's try that again. Yeah, uh, the screen protector does not help, obviously. I'll show you another game here. If you wanna try something like Real Racing 3, uh, it does take quite a while to load, but it should run pretty well. And because of that rear facing speaker, you will cover it probably. <laughs> and 
Yeah, so it runs okay. <laughs> I uh, am not very good at it, apparently. So who do I recommend the TCL A1 for? Well, I recommend this for anyone that wants a backup phone, for anyone that wants a phone for a kid, if you don't really want to give your kid a nice phone, um, this would be a decent starter phone. If you wanted to use this as a webcam, if you wanted to use this as a uh, security camera or something like that, yeah, definitely worth the money for that, only 15 bucks. As a main phone, however, I don't think it would be a very good one unless you're using it for very, very basic tasks. So basic tasks, meaning phone calls, text messages, um, basic web browsing, photos, that kind of thing. Nothing crazy. Even social media on this is not the greatest. It is going to be um, a little sluggish at times. The RAM is limited, so having multiple applications open in the background may hinder its performance even more. Um, but yeah, so that's just a couple of use cases that may be okay for this. So for a refurbished $15 phone, really not bad. And if you think about it, a couple years ago, buying a phone for this price, you would get probably one of the worst phones. It probably wouldn't have performed nearly as well as this. So I'm very impressed with what it can do for the money. Um, but as I said, backup phone, kid starter phone, that kind of thing, probably best for this. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this quick review of the TCL A1, and I'll definitely leave a link to where I found it below. And you can also buy this new if you don't feel uh, like buying refurbished. You can buy this new for about $25 on TrackPhone's eBay website, or if you buy directly from TrackPhone, Straight Talk, those kind of uh, sites, you can find it for about 25 to 30 bucks. So if you do buy this refurbished, you get a 90-day warranty. If you buy this new, so if you spend $10 more or $15 more, you'll get a full one-year warranty. So just keep that in mind also if you are considering purchasing one of these. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing, and I'll definitely see you in the next one.